right away. Ooh, that looks big. Ooh. Got him. Ooh, big crappie. Got him. Oh my gosh, it is. Got him. Oh boy, right off the bat. Got him. Right off the bat, big old gill. Haven't even set up yet. Fish are fired up today, hopefully. Hey, yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the old hard water fishing, but a little bit of a switch up. We're in the old 402. We finally got some uh, cold enough weather. I mean, we got, yeah, about 13 inches. No, I'm just kidding. About six inches. It's been real tough. We had that big snow, and uh, all the snow melt and everything made the water real, real murky. I, I came out three, four times, bounced around to a couple different places. The fish were not fired up. So we had three days of steady weather. Today, we got about 10-ish eh, mile an hour wind. Sunny day, perfect conditions. I'm here midday, bounced around here in the morning, trying to find some fish. I finally set up, marked some fish right there, as you guys saw. And uh, I think I'm gonna call this home. Might even potentially stay into the night. I think it's gonna be a good day. We got some good conditions, so. I'm I'm excited to try the old cast king rods they just came out with the new ice edition all the colorful ones right here and uh the rods the reels i'll drop the link in the description below we're gonna put them to the test today hopefully whip up some nice good quality fish quantity quality it's always what we're after got some z-vibers got some spoons got a glow spoon tungsten some more z-vibers i'm gonna dead stick a minnow down this hole i kind of i'm kind of digging this whole solo thing out here kind of like my own little party sometimes you just need a day by yourself and you come out and Hopefully whack some fish, so. See this. All right, oh, there's a lot of fish down there. Let's see what these are. Ooh, he came screaming up to it. Got them. Wow, they are fired up today. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, bass. In the deucer. He was not hesitant today. This is a big change of how it has been the past couple days. I think we're gonna have a pretty good day out here, ladies and gents. All right. Oh boy. Okay, yeah, the wind picked up a little bit. I'm gonna have to go situate that. All right, later, bud. I got a mess going. This side popped in. Stake this one down. Give me a sec. Let me resituate. But the fish are fired up today. All right, got everything situated. That was chaos. Stake the tent down. It's bottom line. So what we're rolling with right now, just a little tungsten and a waxy. We're just kind of getting the bearings for today. God, it's still windy. Might have to stake it down even more. But we're gonna start off with this, just get the feel for it, and then uh, upgrade baits, upgrade uh, hopefully size of the fish, maybe even stay into the night, see what all kind of fish we can lather up. The old hard water, 402, good luck. All right, as you guys can see, hopefully we can get some cool eats for y'all on this. I am gonna dead stick a minnow in that hole. Maybe if they don't want any of these, we're gonna get them some way, you just wait. Oh, we got a bluegill. God, they were fired up. Oh. You just gotta make them chase it. Aha! Just gotta make them chase it. Gnarly. Big old gill. That is the strat. He came in, they wanna chase it. All right, buddy, later. All right, they're fired up today. I did forget to mention, it's a whole four degrees right now. So, um, very, very cold, that's why I'm in the shack. Oh, we got something coming at it. Oh, you're swimming around it. Ooh, that looks like a big crap. Big old crappy guy. Come on, see it. This water's so murky. Another thing I could do is drop that, I switched to the tungsten again, I could drop that Z-Viber down, see if I can rattle it and he'll hear it better. Shit, this will get him. So one thing I do like about the Z-Vibers, I got that rattle on them, it brings fish in pretty good, even if they are finicky. Oh, big crappie. Got him. He attacked that. No, has, oh my gosh. That's a good crop right there. Oh, he just came out. That crop came out of nowhere. Might have to come back here and eat some of these boys. But for now, we're just uh, trying to find some fired up fish. That's a good crop. Got an eight inch hole, so about a 10, 10 and a half inch crop. Heck, yes sir. What's your plan, buddy? He was fired up. I didn't even have to raise it. He sure smacked that. Let's see what other big fish we can get. That was, that was a good crop right there. Yeah, I'm fishing seven and a half with the water. I forgot to mention that. I'm right on this weed line. I love fishing weed lines, as you can see. There's a little weed patch right here on the screen. Come on, buddy. That is a whole school of gills. One thing I noticed, and I actually just tried it. Oh, this one might do it. Oh, he pecked it. Oh, no. I don't think I pricked him. Got him. I got that one. Ooh, that's a small guy. But one thing I noticed, I drilled another hole right here. At this lake, I don't know if it's, I mean, I just kind of noticed this. Whenever you drill a hole, all the fish flock over to you. It's like they want to come check it out. 
I don't know if you guys have ever had that experience, but I noticed right as I was drilling holes and talking, taking my intro, that I had fish all over me. And then I'm sitting here for the next 45 minutes and I don't have a fish on. So I was like, you know what? I wonder if they're coming to check out the noise and then I get them intrigued with the bait. So that might be something to try if you're going dead, but that sure seemed to work. Having my own little party. Got a couple cold ones, got some hot Cheetos. That's all a man needs in life. Oh my gosh, there's a big fish down there. So much easier when it's a finicky bite to see them on camera, you know, if they actually have the tungsten in their mouth or the hook itself. Ooh. Ooh, there's a big bass. There's a big bass on the right side of the screen. There's three of them down there now. Ooh, big, big crappie. This one doesn't seem to want to hit. Oh, he had it and he spit it out. He's gonna do it. Got him. Got him. Just a little twitch. And it made him fired up. Not a bad bass. Fish is a fish. Nice fishing, the old 402. Can't complain. Having a good time out here. Catch some fish. All right, buddy. Thank you. He demolished that one. Coming in in schools, and it seems like when you have fish down there, it actually brings in other fish. And if it's going quiet for a while, drill another hole. Oh, something's coming. Another good bass. Ooh, he didn't want anything to do with that. Oh, he's back for more. Oh, I pulled it in. He has no idea what happened. <laughs> Maybe he didn't have it. Maybe he's just, ooh, there's a big fish up in, on the right side. Ooh, he's coming screaming. Oh, I thought he had it, and I was wrong. He took my wax. Oh, he's still going to hit it. Got him. Oh, no! God, he loved this Z-Wiber. Come on, give me redemption. Oh, here he comes again. Don't even have it tipped with the waxy. Something's coming in. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, he's back. He's like, all right, I keep hitting you and you keep ripping me. <laughs> yeah, don't blame you, man. I ripped it out of you three times. <laughs> what this is? Oh, big crap. That's a gill. I don't want to crappy, though. Maybe a tungsten. Oh, he pecked it. He pecked it again. What, is he kissing it? He's hitting the tungsten part, not the worm. Ah, they're being finicky now. They're hitting it so light. Without the camera, it's super tough. You can only keep the camera down low. And when I raise it up, I can't see it on the screen anymore. Try to do some morning fishing for y'all. This one came fired up. Oh, big crap. Big, big crap. Wowzers. Oh my gosh. This is a freaking donkey. Wow. Maybe I'm jigging too low. I got the camera set up on the bottom. I was just sitting there talking and all of a sudden I saw it on the graph come screaming up. There's another one down there. Got an eight inch hole. <laughs> I don't even know. It's a terrible way to measure them, but it's about a 14 inch crappie. Have a good one. Well, that was cool. God, that's a big bass. Let's see if I can raise it up. Would you like that? A couple of them down there now. Ooh, there's four down there. Maybe they just like the Wonder Bread. The old Wonder Bread. Typically does the trick. There's a big fish down there. Oh, he's gonna do it. Got him. Got him. He did it. Oh, he came flying up. He did it. The old Wonder Bread. That's all it took. Just the switch of the Z-Viber. The old Wonder Bread. I was rocking with this one right here. And he didn't seem to want to do it on that one, so I switched it up, put the old Wonder Bread on, and he smacked her. I don't know, pounder, maybe a little more. Later, bud. The old Wonder Bread. It's my favorite pattern for the old ice fishing. Tungstens, Z-Vibers, anything with a Wonder Bread seems to work pretty good. Not sure what it is about it. It kind of looks like a shad or something like that with a little bit of appetite thrown in with the polka dots, but I don't know. Seems to do the trick, so. 
He's gonna do it. Got him. Got him. Oh. There's another big one down there. God, I was going for the wiper that came in. But I'm not gonna complain about a fish. I was going for the wiper, but all right. There you go. I can't believe it, I saw a wiper on the screen. Dang it. I was thinking about it. This Wonder Bread Z Viber sure seems to. Oh, Big Daddy came in. It's a bluegill, too. I doubt I'll hit it. Let's see. He's looking at that waxy. We got a whole school of bluegills coming in now. Let's see if something cool comes in with him. No, oh, he got my waxy. And now he's going to eat it. I want that wiper to come back. That'd be sweet. I want that wiper. Sometimes when there's fish down there, though, it can actually lure in other fish. Got him. <clears throat> he hammered that. Not sure what this is. Don't get wrapped in my camera, please. A little bit bigger of a bass. Ooh, he just came out. Okay. That works. Just dropped it back down and there's another bass on it. As far as if we don't get any real, real big bass, Let's see if I drop it down. Let's see if he'll come chase it off the bottom. For some reason, when I drop it by the bottom, they seem to like it. Ooh, this one's gonna smack it. Got him. God, he had no hesitation. This one's a little bit bigger. No hesitation whatsoever. Just came in and crushed it. On the Z Viber. A little bit thicker, a little bit longer. Still nothing giant, but can't complain on a fish. Hey, he's even got my waxy down there. He was sure fired up. Oh, the minnow's going. Got him. A minnow. What is this? Oh. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Oh, another bass. <laughs> the land of the bass. First one on the minnow, he crushed it. Getting a little bit later in the evening, about 3.15, maybe they'll start to fire up. Smaller than the last one, but all right, go join your bud. Thanks, bud. It's kind of fun out here by yourself. I just dropped it so you guys can see it on the camera, but he's gonna do it, pretty sure. This one's gonna do it. Oh, he hit it, I couldn't see it though. Work it on the bottom, he might do it again. Oh, no, he's in the camera. Oh, no, he's not. That's a bigger one, a little bit. We'll take him. I mean, slightly bigger. Lots of them are the same year class in this lake, but catching fish in the old 402 on the hard water, can't complain. All right, later, bud. Okay. Well. My line just broke. I was looking over at this middle one. I look over and there's a bass with my Z-Viber in its mouth. I lost my golden Z-Viber. The Wonder Bread. No. Hmm. Well, that's a kick in the... Oh, there's a fish. Got him. What is it? Oh, crap. Nice crop. Nice. All right. Well, I lost the Z-Viber to a bass and got a nice crappie. I like crappie more than bass, so I guess I'll take it, but not a bad crappie, really. I don't know. 10 and a half inches, 10 inches, not bad. Hey, bud. I lost my z Viper. dang it. Kind of like a see-through orange and reddish. I guess we're gonna have to roll with that. Oh, I think he's gonna do it. Oh, I pulled it out of him. Oh. <laughs> Alrighty guys, it's about that time. We're dropping the glow jig down there. It should glow fairly decent. It's a lot of fish coming into this glow jig. And let me tell you, if you guys are thinking about getting an underwater camera, in my mind, it's definitely worth it. Yes, it makes it a lot easier, but when the bite's finicky like this. Oh, we got something on the middle. Ooh. Got him. Not sure what it is, but he's not bad. It's a bass. Oh, not a bad bass, actually. No, about the same size, a little bit, a little bit above par. But like I was saying, if you guys are thinking about getting an underwater camera, it definitely helps when a bite is finicky like this. And it's kind of fun seeing what kind of fish are down there, seeing what's coming at your bait, and uh, knowing how bad you want to kick yourself when you see a good fish down there and you don't get them. <laughs> but a little bit better quality bass right there. Still nothing to brag about, but all right, later, bud. 
I'm gonna do a little bit of reglow real quick. Oh, right away. No, I missed him. I don't know how early I clicked you guys in, but I dropped that down on a giant crop. He came and just hammered it. All right, let's try it again. It's glowing. Watch this beauty work. Oh, right away. Ooh, that looks big. Oh, he spit it out. God, that looks big. See if I can get him to chase it. Yeah. Oh, no. That was big bass of the day. The glow jig, I'm telling you guys. Got him. Got him. He whacked that. Not near as big as the last bass that I just missed. Off the glow jig, but I got him. The glow jig at sundown, ladies and gents. Right pounder, maybe a pound and a quarter. Oh! Got him. Don't know what it is, it's on the minnow rod. Oh, it's another. Wait, is this a giant crappie? Oh my gosh, it is. Get out of here, boy. Oh, oh my gosh. I thought it was another bass. Look at this crop. Oh. Let's put it up next to the eight inch hole. Look at this. Up next to the eight inch hole. Oops, you guys can't see that. <laughs> and he's bent. Oh my gosh, annihilated it. That's a big, big crop right there. All right, buddy, on the minnow. Have a good one, thank you. That was my sundown biggin'. All righty, y'all. Well, the sundown fishing kind of came to an end. It's been slow for the past about 25 minutes. So I'm gonna call it a wrap. Be sure to stay tuned. We got some pretty cool, unique ideas that we're gonna do out on the old hard water here in the 402. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. We got a bunch more adventures coming at you. Bunch more cool ones here out on the old uh, hard water in the 402. So hope you all enjoyed today's video. I thought it was pretty cool. Bunch more to come right away. Ooh, that looks big. Ooh. Got him, good copy. Got him.